So with all the flooding that we've had in our community, the major health concerns really uh, come, come down to now people getting back into their homes, trying to recover, and so we're really concerned about a potential exposure to floodwaters that may have a whole bunch of things in there, a lot of things we don't know, and we want to make sure that people are safe and protected in the process as they, as they recover. So some of the potential health problems are everything from infectious diseases, so we're thinking about uh, bacterial infections, uh, even uh, thinking about uh, respiratory infections, pneumonias, uh, skin infections. We're concerned about really the challenge with um, GI disease. There are all sorts of uh, infectious diseases that can be caused, but then as you, as you have seen, there are also folks that are getting into their homes and they may have mold, they may have mildew, uh, they may have additional uh, pathogens that can cause them uh, additional health concerns. Um, but we're also uh, concerned about the fact that uh, chemicals might have been in those waters, uh, fecal material, you know, uh, all sorts of, uh, again, disease-causing uh, bacteria that could, at the end of the day, make somebody sick. 